Hello, I'm Eli, and today I am going to do another video, and it's going to be two point perspective. Well, we've done a one point perspective, and that's in another video. If you want to go and have a look at that, I think it's the one before this one. Um, and we're going to make it quite simple. So I'm going to use buildings again. It's always simpler to show with buildings, really. And we'll get a bit more technical with it as we go along and do the drawing after I've done three point. So we're doing a one point, which we've just done. Two point, which is this one. And then I'll be doing a three point, which will be the next one. And then after that, as I said, in the one point perspective, I'm going to draw some panels for a comic. And I'm going to use the one, two and three point perspective in each one of the panels. And then I'm going to leave a fourth panel. I think I might do a mixture of uh, one point. And that sounds weird. But a mixture of one point in that. And then I can lead on to a mixture of two and a mixture of three. I hope this is going to make sense to you anyway. It will do in the end though. But fundamentally today what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw to give you the principles of using two point perspective. Now, before you do two points, if you've not done perspective before in any of the points, one, two or three, um, I suggest that you go and look at one point first because it's the easiest one. And then we build up to the two point, then we go to the three point, which is the more dramatic and a little bit more difficult than the one and the two. So just take a look at the one point and have a go at that first until you think that you've got that theory down. And then you can always use it as reference. Um, if, if you do forget again, because sometimes that does happen. And then we can use this as a two point, and then like I say, we'll go on to a three point. But I'm just gonna use buildings. Make it nice and simple. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep yabbing on. I'm gonna actually get on with it, and I'll talk you through. It's probably gonna be around about 10, maybe 12 minutes long, this video. Uh, last one was 16. Went a little bit over what I wanted to do, but I'm hoping to do this all within. 10-12 minutes. So yeah, I'll stop yabbing and I'll get on. Okay, so for this, you will need, once again, pieces of paper, a ruler. I use a see-through one. It doesn't have to be a see-through one, but uh, I use a, a see-through one. And a pencil. I use a mechanical pencil, once again. You don't need all these, like, fancy things. You know, you don't need, like, perfectly brilliant pencils and stuff. Um, you just need to be able to draw, really. Uh, something to draw on. Right, so if you remember this is what we did on a one point perspective which if you've already watched the video before you'll be familiar with these two things. Now there's something called a, a, an, a, I'll start again, a horizon line but I don't call it a horizon line I call it eye level or an eye line and that's because that's where your eyes are looking from. So Oh, I'm not going to write it on today. I'll just put it on the screen. Eye level. And we have two points. Because it's a two point perspective. So we get a vanishing point here. Which are our two points. Vanishing point one. Vanishing point two. Or one and two. Whichever you want to say. And as we did in our last video. Everything comes or goes to. These two points. Now if we start with just one like this i hope i've drawn heavy enough yep so you can see it and we use on this we use these diagonal lines and we also use um vertical lines too so vertical i've wrote it but i will write over the top of this and put it onto the screen i'm sure of that so we'll put a vertical line in and that's for the back of the building I'm just going to do one building on here to show you. And then I'm going to put this line here, another vertical, to show where the front corner of the building is. But now instead of us, like we did on our one point, we would now go across using just the one point across here and start doing a horizontal line. But we don't. We use this point and we match it up to here. Like that. And do the same there. Match those two points. Like that. And now we do another 
wherever you want it really another vertical line and this now gives us if we rub these out I'll just rub those out because they are quite high and then you'll be able to see take those out like that we have now got a building that is drawn in two point perspective simple really really simple you can also add on to this so if i wanted to use this line again let's start again and let, let's build a, a, a another um another building on top of this building if, if you understand what i mean so we go up to there now we can't see on top because anything above this line we can't see on top of it and anything below this line we can't see underneath it so we will draw a line here to this line. We will draw another line from here to this line. And then, yep, you guessed it. We move from there to there. And let's draw a line. We can draw it all the way down if you want to. It's, it's sometimes better to do that so you can actually see what you're doing. And you know that it's lining up exactly right as well. So these go to your vanishing point, and then I will draw another line that is a vertical line here. Let's rub this out. Just do this quickly. And same with this one. And then presto, you got a building on top of a building. So it's, it's one building, but being built up into, into blocks. So, that's such a simple way of doing a two-point perspective. There's nothing massive to it, really. Um, you're using the two points. You don't use any um, horizontal lines, as we did on the one-point perspective. You use vertical lines. All these are vertical lines. Everything else is from your two points. Okay? So... You can go more technical with this if you wanted to and start doing things that are, you can start, I don't know, maybe doing this because now you know which lines, are there, which points they're going to and do this. So we're putting, you can start putting detail in and as you see, as you're going along, it looks more and more, if I just put that, these lines in here you've got more and more detail it starts looking like it's got a bit more of a shape to this building and you can also see where things go away from you and how it comes closer to you now these are just some ideas of how to do things nice and simple but as we talk about uh, using detail here's one that I, I drew before so remember Vanishing point one, vanishing point two, I'll put one and two there. I'll probably write it on screen anyway. So you can see where they go to and where they come from. And everything only goes with vertical lines from any of these vanishing point lines. No horizontal on this. I think I've said that about 40 times now. But this is what I did with a little bit more um, detail. So I've got a sliding, folding, bifocal door here and you can see all the little details here of where the windows go into the doors where the windows go in there and then you've got a step here this is all an open piece i can put some furniture in there if i wanted to but i've just not done that but you can see all the little details that needed to go in just to create where the window frame is where this frame is here around the door you can see how it goes further away from you here and where it comes closer to you here I've also got a door and a little door handle, which is pretty much on the eye level. So you don't really see very much on top because it's bang on level. So it'd be level with the eyes. So it'd be level as an actual block creating the door handle. So everything, as I said before, everything above this, you can see underneath, but you can't see on top. And everything below this eye line, you can see on the top, but you can't see underneath. 
So this is just using a little bit more, I wanted to show you a little bit more of a detail within two point perspective. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, but it's really worth the time in just practicing. Now, I hope that I've explained that so you can understand it to have a go. Now, if not, please leave some comments below and let me know how I can create it a little bit easier for you. Or if you have any questions, I can, maybe I can answer them to clarify anything that I've said. I know that I don't spend very much time on these videos because I don't think that really it's relative, relevant to do that because I think that you could do this yourself if you just keep pausing me and referring back to what I'm doing. And then just taking your time. But like I say, if you do have any questions, please, please just ask. And also please follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm there on Eli Pendragon Art. And you can have a look at some of my work on there as well. Everything that I do on there is practice pieces. I don't generally show commission work, but if you do want commission work, please get hold of me there. So I enjoy doing these. And next it's gonna be a three point perspective which gets a little bit more complicated, so it might be a little bit of a longer video. But I did say that I try and keep this to 12 minutes. I think I'm gonna go over by a minute, but hey ho, that's fine. And thank you very much for coming. And please like, subscribe, and share it if you can as well. I'd really appreciate that. And join in. And until next time, I'll catch you later. There's not much to do